in this video I'm gonna be doing everything else I need to do in the car there's not really a consistency throughout the video because stuff kept <laughs> going wrong I changed the BS pump after that the bleed nipples uh, broke after that I needed a wheel bearing so there's no real consistency in this video but in this video the fiesta will get sorted so join me fixing the fiesta hi guys welcome back again so because we found out that the abs pump is faulty in the fiesta or i believe the abs for pump is faulty uh, I got a new one, so I bought a, it's a second one, second hand one, but at least that one's working and if I'm right and this one isn't, that's gonna solve the problems. Then after I replace that, uh, or while I'm replacing that, I'm gonna check the loom to see if it, there's any broken wires or something that might cause the fuse to, to blow all the time then we're gonna replace the fuse once again and then we have to jack the car and take the wheels off and bleed the brakes in, in all four corners so it's not something i ever done something on it to be honest not something i really want to do but it is what it is it's need, it needs to be done so let's go straight on to it the abs and the fias is down there where you see the these are the lines going on into to gain access you need to remove battery the battery tray and we'll see what else once we get this off battery is off tray is off as well but the lines unfortunately are not cooperating so i'm going to use a bit of this see if it's going to help me soak in for a little while and then I'm going to try to crack them loose again we are in a very good place right now there's a 10 millimeter bolt right there another one there those are for the bracket the bracket for the ABS pump all all six lines are cracked loose so I'm gonna remove the bracket first and then when I undo these all I have to do is just pull the, the ABS pump out of here and try to get minimal spillage and before that even I'm gonna have to remove these lines from this one here just get them out of here so when I put it back in the car I can put all lines straight back into this it's finally off what a job this was this bracket it had this other bolt down here that I couldn't see and I undone all the brake lines this is absolutely covered in brake fluid now but it doesn't really matter because it's going in the bin I have now to remove this bracket and put onto the other one looks like two 8 mil bolts but yeah Need to get that off and put on the other one. The really the wind has really picked up now, so I hope you can hear me. The bracket is now on the new uh, ABS pump. I put a bit of paper there to prevent brake fluid going onto the connectors, uh, and now I'm just gonna wiggle this one back on. Brake fluid is still dripping, not a whole lot, but it's still dripping. So that's why I put the paper there and I'm just going to wiggle this one back in place and yeah now I understand why there's not a I couldn't at least I couldn't find any videos on how to do this I hope this video is good enough to be uploaded but either way I'm um, when this is fitted and the job is all done I'm going to show you how to use force scan to bleed all the the brakes anyway 
So I'm gonna throw this on. I am very happy to finally say this on this is on. This is not a job I wanna be doing anytime soon. It's not that it's hard, it's just it's time consuming getting uh, stuff out of the way, threading the lines back in, make sure you don't cross thread it. and because you push them out of the way they don't wanna align very well. <sighs> well, it's on. I still have the paper there because I didn't tighten the brackets yet, the bracket yet. I still need to put the bolt down there. I have to take the paper from down there that was catching the brake fluid and I need to give this a good spray of with brake cleaner and clean this all up. And then I can put the battery tray and the battery back on and replace the fuse and make sure that the light it's then gone and another day i'll film the um, the brake bleed procedure i didn't film putting the battery tray and the battery back together because it's just a reverse order and i've been playing chicken with the rain this whole time and i still lost because I'm a bit wet here, but anyway, that's now put together, the battery tray uh, as well obviously, and the um, ABS pump is now connected, the fuse already been replaced, so now we need to go in the car and clear the code and then give it a start, see how it's gonna react to the new pump. I also topped up the brake fluid but the car is not going anywhere for now so it's going to be fine and tomorrow or whenever the weather allows I'm going to have to jack the car up and bleed all four corners so let's get the light clear now I really really wish I was recording because look at that soon as I started the car look at that ABS light is now gone oh I can't this makes me so so happy I'm so happy they work after all this trouble after all this work. I'm really really glad this worked. Oh wow. I'm still gonna scan it. I'm still gonna clear the code, but my oh my I'm so happy this worked. I'm really really happy. Ah let's let me plug this in because uh, yes, 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 all this trouble, all this work paid off. Oh, I'm not even mad anymore that I'm wet because of the rain. Honestly, it's all good now. It's all good. Bleed valve on the rear drums broke. So I ended up buying two of these wheel cylinders to to replace the old ones because the, the bleed valve is on the um, wheel cylinder. And to get to that, need to we need to take the up, up off, removing the center nut and then prying this off I'm gonna show you on the other side I already have the hub off on the other side but this side here is done so hopefully the other side will go fine as well replacing the wheel cylinder as I've just mentioned this side I already took the hub off once you remove the center nut with a 30 millimeter socket I use two flat uh, two flat head screwdriver and just pry it off it takes a bit of time but you can get off with just two screwdrivers prying that off side to side until it comes off now for the wheel cylinder there's two 10 millimeter bolts okay. there's two 10 millimeter bolts that goes here to secure it in place the brake line from the car will go here and then this is the bleed valve to bleed the brakes after everything's done And to remove that wheel cylinder you just need to loosen the two 10 millimeter bolts the 11 millimeter brake line and then you can just like rock it side to side and it'll come off and putting it back is the exact same thing I'm gonna first remove the two 10 millimeter bolts 
and then I'm gonna loosen the brake line and when everything is loose I will when everything's loose I will pull the wheel cylinder off There you go, and it's just this wee short bolt that holds it in place. And obviously before I started this I already cracked them loose and put a bit of WD-40. Because I definitely don't want any of these to snap and make my life even harder once again. Now, when it comes to brake lines, I always use this box and wrench. I heard they they called line wrench or whatever they called. This is actually pretty good. And now on to the brake line. is loose we can now work on pulling the wheel cylinder off oh. and be careful pulling this off because I just pressed the wheel cylinder and squirted brake fluid all over me all of my hands luckily there's none on the brake shoe but either way I have a can of brake cleaner nearby to clean everything up once you're done and as I said there the brake bleed of all broke there and I tried to remove it with the extractor bolts but they broke too and I'll never get that off so new wheel cylinder it is These bits here should be on a vertical position because they will slot into the brake shoe and when you put this on make sure you put the brake line straight on onto that and then it makes everything easier to tighten and align. You can even thread the brake line by hand but that's on now all I need to do is just put the two 10 millimeters back and then we can place the hub back on to over the shoe but first we need to clean the brake uh, fluid spillage now you sort of have to feel back there to to align the screw with the wheel cylinder because they won't be properly aligned but once you start threading it in you'll feel it so that one's going in pretty easy now the other side And there's no arm if you squeeze 
this new one because this new one obviously doesn't have any brake fluid so there's no problem if you squeeze this one and don't over tighten it because it's only small bolts just a little snug is more than enough I just cleaned that up with brake cleaner back here as well all cleaned up and as I was saying, those there need to be at a vertical position to slot in the brake shoe. So now we're going to place the back and tighten the 30 millimeter nut. I think the, it's 230 millimeters to for the center nut, but I'll double check that. That's on. I tightened the two 10 millimeter bolts, also the brake line, so it's all secure. We're ready to put the hub on over the brake shoe and what I found easier was you center this kind of started and then with my breaker bar because it's a solid piece of metal you just tap it in Once this is tight, I'm gonna pull the end brake a couple times because of the self because of the self adjuster. Also, I think for it to work properly, I need to no because the end brake cable it's a end brake cable, so it should be fine. Just pulling a couple times for for it to self adjust. So my my nut. And yeah, this goes up to 230 millimeter, 200 newton meter. I mean, not millimeters. So I'm just gonna thread it in, and then I'm gonna torque it. I already have the breaker bar set, uh, the torque wrench. I mean, I already have it set because I done the other side. and now last but not least the little cover and now we can finally bleed the brakes like I intended to from the beginning so I tried to bleed the system with foreskin which didn't work the foreskin in this small particular car it's only to bleed the ABS I had to bleed the brakes the old-fashioned way at the uh, second person pumping the brakes and I was going around bleeding and I done a flush on the system as well so there's uh, fresh fluid on the system and so Instead of showing you that, because like I said, it didn't work with foreskin in this model, we're gonna replace the wing. Uh, we need to re remove the arch liner first. And there's a bolt behind this trim right here. And we need to remove the bolts that goes through the hinges as well. 
uh, those obviously gonna be gonna be less so I can hold the bonnet while I'm replacing the the wing and also the strut is here so I probably gonna have to prop the bonnet on the other side with something just to prevent it falling and yeah after that because the brakes um, already bled we can finally put the car back on the ground and take it for a spin bleed the um, bed in the brakes as well and then proceed with cleaning and washing Removing the headlight gives you great access here to these bolts in this corner and then you access these two from under here uh, The arch liner was very very dirty so I had to go around scraping it off to find out where the um, the bolts for the arch liner is There's one hidden right in here and two on the bottom Although one's still there I'll take it off once I remove the wing now I just need to loosen those two or remove those two, hold the bonnet, take this off and put the other, the other one on and then we can go around and tighten everything. The wing is now on, so no more rusty wing. I've got the two bolts underneath there. I've got all bolts in, but when I got these from the breakers, they must have folded. So I'm gonna have to remove these here and bend the the metal part there in, so there's a so that there's a flush fitting, and also to move the fender a bit in because there's a big gap up here. So once I sort that out, everything's gonna be. Uh, aligned and all I have to do is put the liner back on the wings finally on the fitment up here from up close doesn't look that great but if you look it from say here I'm like five minutes away from the car it doesn't actually look that bad so I'm happy with that fitment right there we can now put the car on the ground we'll arch liner is on so after I put the car down and move it I'm gonna have to clean here because this is absolutely filthy here there and also on the other side but uh, now that the car is ready somewhat we can finally wash it and clean the inside as well because look how bad this wing was all rusted around the edges and that bit there probably somebody hit the car or something but it's now sorted and it's now looking really good all that's left to do is honestly wash wash everything and need to wash it very well there because this car had a mud flap and then clean the inside and yeah we're definitely on the on a good way yeah, I'm really happy with this car right now. One thing I forgot to mention is this wheel will have to come back off eventually because when I fit 
the new wheel cylinder uh, the bearings was actually shot here on this on this uh, on this corner the other one was fine it spins fine this one you can even spin it by hand but the bearings gonna be replaced so this wheel is gonna have to come off and I have to try take the drum off again but at least for today for a back and forth motion will be just fine and as I said at least the car will be off the jack stand and one thing that I won't be able to do today is torque the wheels because my torque my torque wrench is in the Gulf and my wife is actually away for work so that means that today I cannot torque the, the wheels but a little ratchet is gonna be just fine for today and as I said this wheel has to come off again so it's not a big deal just to drive here on the alleyway uh, and only three more wheels to go and finally put this thing down it's been set here on Jackson's for way 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 too long more than I would like it, that's for sure as you can see I'm trying to torque it to tighten it and the wheel doesn't even move unless I have the brake handbrake on maybe it's my fault maybe I, put, I did pull the handbrake let me take a quick pick. Yeah, this wheel was never gonna spin with the handbrake up. But anyway, there we go. Actually, it does spin. Because I only pulled the handbrake a couple of clicks, but I'll have to pull it up a bit more. Because when I put it down, I don't want it to roll. So I'll resume when we ready to put the car down. Finally, this is going to happen. One off. Second one off. Let's go, let's go. And brake is properly pulled this time. So let's get this car down finally let's go let's go yes 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 As you just seen there, brakes work, handbrake work. Uh, no lights on the dash, let me just show you real quick. No lights on the dash, let me, yeah, no lights on the dash. So yeah, it was really, really good work on this car. So now, a bit of cleaning down here and, we, and we're done. So with this is the end of part two of the Fiesta build. Insane amount of parts put on this car. All thrown in the back of the car there. I start I'm gonna start part three by going over all the parts that 
went on to the fiesta all the work going on to going into the fiesta and when part three goes live the car will already be for sale so with that this is the end of part two like and subscribe my channel and keep an eye out for part three thanks very much for watching